Hey family, hey y'all, what's going on? I hope it's all good in the neighborhood. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that the Lord has made. And so we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what it looked like, Father God, we thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Hallelujah. You have been so good to us, God, to grace us with life. Hallelujah. God, we just thank you. I ask you, Father God, to bless the MTS crew. I ask you to bless my sisters and brothers, my nieces and nephews, and my great nieces. Um, I ask you to touch them, Father God. I ask you to put a hedge of protection around them and their families that no hurt, harm, and danger will come to them. God, we ask you to make every crooked place straight in their life. Um, and also, God, and we ask you, Father God, if anybody um, among the MTS crew is going through any kind of financial difficulties or any uh, health issues, God, we ask you, Father God, to make the crooked place straight in their life. We ask you to touch their bodies and heal their bodies, Father God. God, we ask you to open up the windows and pour out a blessing to them, Father God. Uh, we thank you, Father God, and we know that you're going to do it, God. We believe, Father God. You said in your word, only believe and I believe. Amen, amen. Y'all wonder, what in the world is Mama T got on? I got on my onesie with my ears because guess what? It's cold. It is freezing. <laughs> It is freezing here, y'all. It is freezing uh, 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 this afternoon. Um, uh, it's probably around 40, 30-something. But anytime it get past 72, I'm cold. And then I try not to turn, <laughs> turn the heat on in the house. So I decided to just buy me some onesies. I already had some, but I bought a bunch more so I can stay warm. And y'all, this is about the kitties today. I promised them that I would bring... Uh, a few desserts, matter of fact, three desserts uh, for them that they can make over the holidays for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. And we want to make it real, real easy. I bring them some more during Christmas holiday. But for um, I want to include the young people uh, in our holiday, you know, because they sometimes, you know, they watching mommy cook or, or watching daddy cook, grandma, grandpa, and they don't feel included. And sometimes we rush them out the kitchen because we don't want them to get in the way. So what I'm, uh, the reason I want to do these desserts so they can be included in this cooking. And like, I want them to be a part to, um, bring a part, bring a part to the dinner, bring to the dinner something that they would like and their family would like. And we want them to be just as proud as you are when you make, bring that beautiful turkey out of the oven. We want them to be just as proud. So kitties, uh, uh, get your pencil and piece of paper. Mama T is going to write the recipe anyway down below. And today y'all, we're going to do a ice cream sandwich pie, a ice cream sandwich pie, ice cream sandwich cake, uh, uh, whichever you want to call it. We're going to call it an ice cream sandwich cake. This is a no bake cake. This bake is absolutely easy. You don't need that much, um, those many um, uh, items, ingredients for this uh, delicious uh, cake. And all you, you don't have to touch a stove. We're just going to put it together and we are going to put it in the freezer overnight. Put this thing in the freezer overnight and it will be ready. And I promise y'all, this is not hard. This is not a hard dessert to make. And guess what? You're not going to need a blender, a mixer. You're not going to need any of that. You're not going to need to turn the stove on. Uh, on. All you need is your little fingers and um, just to spread some um, uh, Cool Whip on your delicious dessert. So let's go ahead and get this dessert going. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dessert uh, after we finish, we'll put the dessert in the freezer. And the reason we're going to put it in the freezer because we're going to need these ice cream sandwiches to stay firm and hard. You you know, it's, it's even hard to work with them if they're not firm. So when you get your, uh, your, your grocery list, I want you to go ahead. When you get your uh, ice cream sandwiches, go ahead and put them in the freezer because it's almost impossible to work with them when they're really soft. I'll show you. Uh, I have some and they're kind of soft. So I'll show you how they look when they're too soft to work with. So we want a good, firm uh, 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 um, consistency. We want a firm ice cream sandwich. And then you can work with them. You get mom and dad to help you, sister and brother. But I want this to be your dessert. I want this to be something that you can contribute to your thanks, your family's Thanksgiving meal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this made. And I'm gonna, um, we're gonna make it. Then I put it in the freezer. And then in the morning, I'll come back early just like this i'll come back early in the morning and then we'll cut it and i'll let you see 
the creation and and y'all let me know uh down below if you're gonna try it um uh and and even if not for the kids you know i mean it's a good dessert for it for anybody but i just wanted the kids to to come along and and make this easy easy dessert okay y'all let's go ahead and get our ice cream cake dessert going and the reason i say cake because you have your ice cream sandwiches right and on the outside of your ice cream sandwich you have that chocolate cookie cake but i'm gonna call it an ice cream cake so we're gonna go ahead and get that started and um i hope you enjoy so 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 tell mama daddy mama tell tell the children to come and 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 let's see what mama t got up with this delicious ice cream uh cake that we're gonna get ready to make okay let's go ahead and get it done Okay, kids, this is what we're going to need to make our delicious ice cream pie cake. This is going to be delicious, y'all, and it's going to be easy. So, tell mom that you need some car caramel topping. If not, you can use chocolate topping or you can use the topping, uh, you know, the squeeze bottle like the Hershey's. You can use that. You can use the strawberry, the caramel. Uh, you can use the chocolate. Whatever you want to use, you can use that. But this is what Mama T have on hand and this is what I'm going to use. Okay, now I bought these ice cream sandwiches from Kroger's. You just need a full-size ice cream sandwich and it's 12 in a box. I bought two boxes because I didn't know exactly how much I would need for this pan. This is a 13 by 9 pan and you're also going to need some Heath, Heath bar pieces. And I'm going to uh, take... Um, a mallet and I'm going to cut these up a little bit more but make sure you know before you uh, chop them up or, or you can just take a, a mallet or anything a big spoon and you can just break them up in the bag but make sure when you do that they're cold and they're not on uh, uh, room temperature because you'll have a mess okay we have whipped cream I don't know whether I'm going to use two, one or two but just follow along and you can see it all depends on the size of your pan now you can use an aluminum pan, but you got to use something that you can put directly in the freezer. I would suggest you freeze this dessert overnight. And when you freeze it the next day, you'll be able to cut out a square and your family will absolutely love you for making this delicious dessert. So let's go ahead and get started on our ice cream sandwich cake dessert. Okay, so um, you're going to need one, two, three four. You're going to need four items. Now, if you're making a smaller one, you only use one of these, one ice cream um, sandwich bar. I mean, one 12 pack. And um, you, you can omit this if you don't want to have any kind of topping. You can omit this if you want to. But if you're going to, um, if you want to put fruit, the fruit that I would suggest you using is maybe some sliced strawberries because this dessert is not going to be able to sit out. Once you serve it, put it back in the freezer and uh, it will keep for a long time and make sure you cover this up. So let me show you how easy it is, kids, to make this easy dessert, okay? Let's go ahead and get it started. Oh, and if you don't want, if you don't like the Heath bars, you can use um, Risa cups or any kind of um, candy you want. You can e even use peppermint, but you can use any kind of chocolate. You can use chocolate morsels or any kind of chocolate, but I like the crunch that that's um, in these Heath bars, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, family. So we're gonna take and just break these Heath bars up a little bit more because we want them crumbly. These are like a little bite-sized pieces. So we're going to break these up. This will be a great project for siblings. Get your little brother or your little sister to help you out with this. And just let them get wet until it's crumbly. Okay. They are crumbly. And we're going to open that. All right. So, okay, y'all. So remember, this is a 13 by 9 pan. Can y'all see that? So, also, where you can get help is to have someone to help you open up your ice cream sandwiches and we have to do this quickly because your ice cream sam sandwiches will melt okay 
And so we have to do this real quickly. So just go ahead and start layering your eye cream sandwiches. Okay, now y'all, I started to layer my ice cream sandwiches. These ice cream sandwiches are a little bit too soft. When you can mash them and the ice cream comes out like that, your ice cream sandwich is too soft. They need to be solid frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and let our ice cream sandwiches freeze up a little more and um, you can have someone to help you unwrap the ice cream sandwiches and do it as fast as you can and what would be nice if you could go ahead and unwrap all of them and put them maybe on a in a pan and go ahead and put them in the freezer but if not just have some help you know have have your mother to help you or somebody to come and help you and go ahead and get these hard so i'm gonna let my ice cream sandwiches freeze up a little more because we can't work with these okay all right okay family you have to hurry up and work with these. You remember I told you that you need to have your ice cream sandwiches frozen really hard. These were uh, still a little soft. So what I did was I put them back in the refrigerator to let them harden up just a little bit. So now y'all, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put um, our whipped cream on these and we're just gonna spread the whipped cream on top just like this. Just spread it on top. And you really will have to work fast. I know y'all can work real fast. So you just have to work real fast with this. And I got this recipe from my niece, um, Diane. She made this recipe for us about five years ago. And it was absolutely delicious. Okay. So we just go ahead and spread Spread the um, topping. So we might need two toppings. Okay. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and spread a little caramel on top of this. Just spread it back and forth. You don't need a whole lot. Just go back and forth with it. And remember, we're working really fast. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put our heat bars on top of this. And we're going to start the process all over again. You can do your chocolate or you can do your heat bars. I like the crunch in the heat bars. Okay. So let's go ahead and start pressing. And even if they start to break, that's okay. Because they're going to harden back up. Put them as close together as you can. Like so. Okay, family, we're going to go ahead and put our whipped cream on. And we're just going to spread it across. Like so. Have fun with it, y'all. And if you choose to use some sort of sprinkles or whatever, that is fine. This is your Thanksgiving dessert. Yours. Okay. Okay. Now let's use all of this cool whip. Give me a paper towel. Okay, let's clean up our mess. If you have any on the end, just go ahead and clean that up. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and add some more caramel on top of this. As much as you like, y'all. This is, uh oh, sorry. This is your dessert. Okay. Okay. If I miss the area, charge it to my head, not to my heart. Okay. Let's go on with some more heath bars and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator until in the morning tomorrow then I'll cut it tomorrow and I'll let you see how it looks on the inside it's really nice on the inside and it looks like an ice cream cake which that's really what it is because the um you have like a cake or a cookie and then you have your ice cream in the middle without baking the cake so this is a refrigerated dessert Okay, family, here is our no-bake ice cream cake. So I'm going to uh, take it and put it in the freezer. I do have a top to go on top of it. But what you have to watch is do not put aluminum foil on top of this. What I would do is put it in the freezer, uh, give it in the freezer about a couple of hours, and then if you're going to cover it with aluminum foil, just uh, make a tent. You know how to make a tent just to go over it. Now, I have, um, actually have, a pretty deep top to go on this so I'm just gonna snap that on and um, you make it today so if you want to do it for Thanksgiving you can make it uh, Wednesday put it in the refrigerator and it will be ready for your Thanksgiving dinner so we'll take it out tomorrow and I'll cut it and I will show you how this delicious dessert look and I'm gonna tell you it tastes good so enjoy making this dessert for your family for Thanksgiving and enjoy. So I'll be back tomorrow and I will check in and we'll have a bite of it. Okay, family, it's the next morning, early morning. So uh, this is uh, our cake we just took out of the freezer. So it was in there overnight and I've already removed the top, but I put it back on so I can let you see how this uh top how much room it had and it didn't touch it on the inside see and this is how our cake look so let's get ready to cut into it and take a bite okay family here it is so let's go ahead um and take a cut of it so we're gonna start Okay, it's frozen, but not that frozen. Okay, we're gonna, you might wanna get someone to help you remove this. Okay, you know, the first piece hardly comes out right, but I think that that one did okay. It, okay. Let me give you a better look. Okay, family. Here's our dessert on the inside, and it needed to sit up a few more hours, but that's okay. This is how it looked on the inside. Got a pretty clean cut, and you can cut it in squares, any, any way you really want to cut it. But this is, I promise y'all, this is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. And you have enough whipped cream on here. If you wanted to add some more whipped cream, you can add more whipped cream. If you want to add some more caramel on here, you can add some more caramel. But I think that this is enough sweet. And um, so let's go ahead and give it a bite because I know how it's going to taste. Y'all, it's going to taste terrific. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a bite. But this would be your Thanksgiving contribution, kitty. So please go ahead and make this simple simple dessert for your family so what i'm going to do now we're going to take a bite of this and i'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back 
in the freezer. Now, tell you something else I have done with this. I have uh, you. I have dyed mine. I, you, you, you don't have to use a uh, uh, food color if you don't want to, but sometimes, you know, I do. I use the food grade food color. And for Christmas, what you can do with this, you can uh, take one of your whipped cream and you can dye it maybe like a red color. And the other whipped cream, you can dye it green. And then you will have you a beautiful Christmas dessert. And if you want to put some uh, Christmas candies or something like that in here, that would be absolutely beautiful. And it would be perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's get this back in the freezer. So, and when you serve it, when you get ready to serve your dessert, your family get ready to serve your dessert, whoever wants some, let them go ahead and cut it and don't please let it sit out. Don't, do not let it sit out. Put it right back in the freezer. And if anybody want a bite, they can uh, cut another piece off. Okay. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get this back in the um, refrigerator. No bake, delicious ice cream sandwich cake. Okay, family, here it is. Here is our delicious ice cream sandwich cake. Oh, y'all, this is just so delicious. I I made it so many times, y'all. But I want you all to enjoy this, and I want you all to make this for your family. And I just love you all, and I thank you all for 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 watching me. And you know young babies are watching and and they want to know how to cook and i am willing to help them learn yes i am so god bless y'all god keep y'all let's go ahead and take a bite that's a big bite oh too early in the morning for all this it's so good y'all mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So y'all, try it out. Be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice but to be good to others. See y'all, enjoy this recipe. See you later. Okay. okay, family, here's our cake, our ice cream sandwich cake, and we are ready to eat it. It's still cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely delicious and let's try it. Babe, you wanna hi babe. Hey. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Good morning. My sweet little titty back. <laughs> and hello MTS group. How everybody doing? But my sweet little titty back and made some that I love the taste. And this is the taste of y'all. Y'all know I this am, is the taste of mine. I am the Sit taste. Sit down, babe. You want to? Y'all, this is good. And this is so good. And we eating this. It's too early in the morning for them. Yeah. I'm trying to. I taste it. I try to taste it. See how it tastes. Taste. Taste. Y'all, it's good, but you got to make sure that it's frozen all the way. All the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. See, that teddy bear is she only had. She only love had. <laughs> what you call? Why you call me a teddy bear? Cause I got on this. Yeah, that was it. Got on this. All this. All this. Uh, what you call it? It ain't fur, but it's <laughs> close to it. <laughs> Nature. Yes, but I am. That's the reason why she got it on. Yeah, that's the reason why I got it on, y'all. Mm. I'm gonna take a big bite. Mm -hmm. See. You like it? Mm -hmm. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. Did you like? Like me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, enjoy that. So you think this would be something that the kids would would um would enjoy? You're gonna waste some. Oh, you think this would be something that the kids would enjoy making? Oh yes, it would. I, I know if I was a kid, I sure would enjoy it. Please try it. Please try it, and uh, this would be an easy, inexpensive dessert because I mm -hmm. think. Let me see those ice cream sandwiches, y'all. They were on sale at Kroger, and I got them one ninety nine for twelve. So I bought two boxes of ice cream sandwiches. I bought two uh, tubs of Cool Whip, mm -hmm. and I forgot the two the Cool Whip. It was the store brand, I think. I have to look and see, but it wasn't that much. And uh, uh, the, the the Heath bars, I think, cost the most. You know, I think mm -hmm. it was like three something or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's all you need in a freezer safe pan or something like that. And those little square aluminum pans, you know, the ones you buy from Sam. Better. This thing have them to put them in. Mm-hmm. 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 I try to buy the kind that don't have the ridges on the side, but you can get all your cake. 
<laughs> so what he did was he went and put it back in the refrigerator because I don't feel that it was frozen, frozen, frozen good enough. But there it is because it was so late when, when I put it together last night. So um, just make sure it stays in the refrigerator, you know, at least uh, eight to 10 hours and let it freeze. So children, if you uh, want to do this, make sure you do it maybe early Wednesday morning. You can even do it too. You can do it Monday and just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator okay. and present your family with your lovely Thanksgiving dessert. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, Mama and Papa, I got a surprise for y'all. What kind of surprise? Mm -hmm. What kind of surprise? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, y'all. So look, did I say be good to yourself? Are you? I did. <laughs> well, can I say it? be good to yourself? And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice but to be good to others. Take this hand, put it on this shoulder, and pat yourself on the back Amen. and know that you are worthy. You are the apple of God's eye. Every hair on your head has already been numbered. Mm -hmm. You know who you are, where you are, where you're going, and boo and booze. He know how Amen. you're going to get there. Amen. So God bless y'all. Y'all go ahead and take on the day. Uh, uh, today is starting out really beautiful. Uh, the, the the sun is kind of peeping through and, and it's like early early, early in the morning. Um, uh, my husband is getting ready uh, to go and pick up Sister Pam. Sister Pam, she's, uh, you wait something. Sister Pam, she's on the, um, our dance. Um, I don't even have a nap in here. Uh, she's on our dance team at our school, at our school, at our church. So they're having a meeting today. So he's going to run over there and take her there. And so, uh, and then she'll probably come back here. But meanwhile, yo. Go enjoy yourself and relax. <laughs> That's what I, I that's what I want her to do. Is to relax. Relax, relax. So uh, uh I'm gonna bundle up, have me a cup of hot tea. I wasn't gonna have coffee, but have me a cup of hot tea and I'm gonna enjoy myself and sister Pam is coming. We got some work to do. Yeah. We are doing uh, uh our uh dressing and macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving and we're gonna, you know, put it in the freezer. So we're gonna work on that. So she's coming over today, so I wanna be ready for that. So I was up early this morning, y'all. I think I was up about three. Mm -hmm. About three thirty, four o'clock. About three. About three. Uh huh. I was up about three thirty, y'all. Uh, uh, listening to my praise and worship. Uh, I took a hot shower, washed my hair, and um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So behind mm -hmm. tasting that, I don't have an appetite for anything. Yeah. So I'm just going to drink me a cup of sash tea and um, relax yeah, until they until they get, get back. back. So see y'all later. Tell them mm -hmm. see you later, baby. See you later. He thinking about that, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to finish because it's so good. <laughs>